Good morning. morning! It's a beautiful day on Vancouver Island and today we're in Victoria. Victoria. Hi, we're Tom and Angel and we're embarking on our Vancouver Island and Sunshine Coast road trip. Join us as we explore the coastal area of beautiful British Columbia. Our trip started with a quintessential BC ferry ride from the Lower Mainland to the island. We love these ferry rides. Our first stop today is one of our favorite spots in Victoria. We cannot get enough of it. It's called Crust. You gotta check out these goodies. We try to order something new every time we come, but it's, it's really hard when you know how good something is. It's like, oh, I want that again. You know how it is. They also have coffee and their pastries are both savory or sweet. So like it's a great spot for breakfast or, you know, quick snack or just a goodie. We basically inhaled that sausage roll because it was so good. We always get the sausage roll at crust. There's and like fennel in it. It's so good. It's, it's just perfectly seasoned, really well cooked. The pastry is flaky and amazing. And then I got the sour cherry, like cream cheese pastry. And you got the carrot, got cake, carrot cake with cream cheese. Everything just tastes so good, so fresh. Like, and it's made with really real ingredients. Like you can taste every component. It's so good. You need to go. British Columbia's capital, despite what most people might think, is not Vancouver. It's actually here in Victoria. Behind us is the Capitol building, which you can see is very elegant. And one could say regal considering it was built for the queen built for queen victoria they have guided tours here daily so if you want to check out one of canada's oldest and one of the prettiest parliament buildings that we have if you come by at night it's lit up in a really nice way but if you want to go inside and check it out you can do that here too we're making our way across the street from the victoria parliament building to the royal bc museum about this time last year, we visited Victoria for the first time and we actually got the chance to go into the museum. We're not doing that today, but we're going to give you guys a peek inside. Right now, I'm a little sad because they have an exhibit about orcas that's going on until January of 2022. I think whales are really cool. Um, <laughs> I'm a huge nerd. <laughs> We're here at a totem pole exhibit just outside of the Royal BC Museum. It's really cool because this is actually property of Chief David Knox of Fort Rupert and they're able to display it out here for everybody to see. It's really beautiful, really big. Totem poles are really important in indigenous cultures because they're used to tell stories and the symbols and mix of symbols and animals are used to show ownership, whether it's of land, of of huts and even of water. So they're not just pretty, they are actually really functional and have a lot of different uses for the First Nations. So the Empress Hotel, uh, which is clearly the most regal hotel, was actually made for Queen Victoria, who was England's only royalty to ever hold the title of Emperor or Empress. Our next stop today is a place that Tom really, 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 really wanted to go to. It is Miniature World. Miniature World is around 50 years old and they have over 85 mini dioramas and displays. It takes years to plan, craft the art, and install the technical components of each diorama. They cover everything from the wonderful world of smallness, scenes of different parts of Earth throughout time, to more creative and imaginary scenes like the storybook of fact, fiction, and fantasy. They even have the world's smallest operational sawmill, which is 11 years in the making. This place is pretty cool. We've made our way to Old Town. 
which is a reclaimed area it used to be um, industrial and the port city and really the home of Victoria itself. Now it's a very commercial space, lots of shops and restaurants, bars, etc. Right now we're at Bastion Square, which right now is very quiet. It's really cute. We're gonna try to find some lunch. Just up the road is Market Square, which is also really cool. Just finished up brunch. It was super tasty. We're now walking across the street from Market Square to Fantan Alley, which is kind of neat because it's Canada's smallest alley. Named after the Chinese gambling game Fantan, the alley was originally a gambling district, but today it is a tourist destination with many small shops, barbers, cafes, apartments, and offices. Reality of coming here? Everyone wants a picture inside there. As you can probably tell, Fantan Alley is located in Victoria's Chinatown, which happens to be Canada's oldest Chinatown at over 160 years old. The only Chinatown in North America older than Victoria's is the one in San Francisco, and that's only by 10 years. There wasn't much for us to do at Victoria's Chinatown, so we're gonna make our way to Victoria Public Market or the Victoria Public Market. I want to go to this place because it had a huge sign outside and it looks like they have a lot of cool shops, so we're gonna go there. I wish I had known that there were so many food options here because there are a lot of really tasty smaller places. It's a big eatery and there's some smaller shops, um, but we're just getting caught. After a nice walk down Government Street, which is the main pedestrian street, we did some shopping, got some more coffee. I got to go to a coffee shop that's over 100 years old. It's the only, oldest shop on the island. Got to see some cool stuff. And now we're gonna take a water taxi over to Fisherman's Wharf to see another iconic place here in Victoria. That taxi ride was super fun, kind of unnecessary. Yeah. You can definitely walk here in like 15, 20 minutes or just drive three minutes away, but we thought it'd be fun to take the ferry. It's only $7, $7.50 for an adult, so 15 bucks for both of us. Nice for like break for our legs too. And you get to see the whole waterfront from the water perspective, which is nice. Coming into Fisherman's Wharf with this view is also really nice to see. Yeah. So we're gonna hang out here, probably get some ice cream and we'll see what's around. today is at the breakwater. The breakwater is a man-made peninsula built out of thousands of pounds of granite and concrete. So it's about 750 meters to go straight to the lighthouse at the end of it and it's really pretty. We hope to see the sunset that's why we're picking the walk at this time and I think it'll be a nice walk. Yeah. It was built in 1915 to extend the outer wharves section of the Victoria Harbor. So it's all the way on the south side and so by creating this break wall it actually stops the waves and they can have more harbor where there's less ocean waves. Which is huge for a port city like Victoria. So it was completed in 1916 but they actually only installed the handrails in 2013. So I imagine that like people were <laughs> breaking in on the break wall and 
climbing and walking on it, and then they're like, okay, let's just make it safe and have people walk on it. It only took them a hundred years to come to that conclusion. Yeah. That's it for our day in Victoria. We hope you liked it. We definitely did. If you did, don't forget to like and subscribe, follow us on Instagram, and we'll see you in the next one of our island adventure. Bye. Bye. Thanks for that, Tom. Back to me. <laughs> <laughs> Just have the pastry. It'll ruin your diet. You We're won't not regret it's low it. Carb. Yeah. Oh yeah. No. I'm, that's. I'm just saying. Even if you are on a low carb diet or you're not eating sugar, just try it and enjoy your life in Victoria. <laughs>